This isn't about what race, what age, what gender you are. We only get one life. There's no rewind button. Make it count. Make a difference. Step into your greatness. Make your path. Make your own trail. This is about me and you. Us. We are. Heart in the community. Yaar pari sasriya kaal, Vaheguru Ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru Ji ki fateh, you're watching Sangat Television. It's the brand new series, Heart in the Community. Vaheguru Ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru Ji ki fateh, you are watching Sangat Television, Heart in the Community. Welcome. Sariya nuk piyar pari sasriya kaal. Jinne jinne shote mere bache, mere yaan pehna, mere bhi, sade bhi jorg dekh rahe yaan. It's a very special heart in the community. We are in the very famous, very beautiful, very tasty <laughs> Mr. Singhs. And the, the one and only Mr. Singhs here in the heart of Birmingham, the heart of the community. And we have a very special international guest with us. I'm just going to call him the lion, Sardar the lion. It's Khalsa Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. So, to pronounce, it's El Fresh the Lion. That's right. Okay. You got it. I see Bala Pareni, so it's going to be just the lion. <laughs> sure. Okay. Whatever you're comfortable with. How's it going? Yeah, good. Good? Doing good. Yeah. How's the UK first time I hear? Yes, the first time in the UK um, has been great so far. I've been here just over a week. Um, and been enjoying it, doing the sightseeing, getting a feel for the country. Um, mostly been spending time in London and just meeting people, connecting with people. Um, it's like building family here, you know, long lost family. He's from Australia, yes. guys, born and bred in Australia. So a few weeks ago, we actually made a phone call to the big man up there and said, we want some nice Australian weather. And you know what, since he's been here, <laughs> it's actually been nice. Hey, so uh, I brought it with me. <laughs> good, good stuff. <laughs> if you're going to bring nice weather with you, you're welcome back here. Uh, thank you. Any time of the year. Why music? Why not music? Music is, is so much a part of our cultural tradition, our faith-based tradition also. It's been there since the beginning. Yeah. You think about how messages were spread, it was through music, you know. Um, Guru Nanak Dev Ji and, and um, you know, touring around, you know, with music. Yeah. You, it, it's unbelievable how music, you know, you can, you can have a, a hard day at work, you know, um, uh, maybe a strenuous time at the gym if you haven't got your mp3 player with you but you you get back home or you get into your sort of um, y y your space and and just a bit of music actually just soothes yeah, for sure. the situation chills the body out yeah it plays such a role in our everyday lives that we sometimes take for granted but it's there it's everywhere you know and um, like you said it, play, it has such an impact on on us every day i've seen some of your links you know some of your videos some of your work and, and the passion and, 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 and you know, your stage shows, uh, there, there's so much josh, so much raw, you know, obviously being a Sadar, that, that sort of comes with the title, but where do you, where do, where do you get all this from? I just like to have fun. Music, music is, is fun for me, you know, um, and it brings me such enjoyment. There's no freedom land than like being on stage and performing with people that you love. I perform with friends and uh, who I consider family back home in Australia, and you know we just have so much fun. You know, it's just it's it's a privilege to be on that stage to be able and, to share. And the music is it full time for you? It's becoming full time very quickly. Um, I um, went to university back home in Australia and finished with a, a law degree and an arts degree, which I believe you guys call humanities over here. Um, and um, straight after that, uh, whilst I was at uni, was 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 focusing on music, developing my skills there, but also working in the community sector with young people who were disadvantaged. Um, I've since transitioned into working in human rights full time as well back home. So. You know, working in human rights full time, music full time, and now it's getting to the point where music's taking over you and know, it's becoming I, I, much of a as focus. A, as a music artist, uh, you know, you, you see many new music artists now. You know, um, um, a lot of the famous ones that they they will talk about big cars and, and big mansions and, and and champagne and dancing in the nightclubs. You know, uh, I'm not saying every music artist is like this, sure. you know, but with you. It's it's about more about what lyrics 
and, and the problems we have in the society, you know, you know, whether whether it's a, a woman, mm. one of our sisters being abused, whether 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 it's a, an issue with drugs, racism, you know, and, and you know, I think there should be more mm. of artists like yourself. Mm. Why why do you tend to hit that route? I understand that you know I, I'm very privileged to be in the position that I'm in to be able to tell stories to people on a wide yeah. scale. Um, you know, uh, my family sacrificed a lot to be able to come to Australia. Their, their, my parents' parents sacrificed a lot to be able to for them to be able to have the opportunities they had. So I know that. I am in a position of privilege whereby I have the opportunities laid out in front of me. I don't want to waste that opportunity. Their stories of my people that need to be told, my family first and foremost, um, their parents, um, the, the community around me, that their stories need to be told because if we don't tell them, no one else will. So I understand first and foremost that that's my duty, you know, and that's, that's too much of a, of a responsibility to, to throw away lightly, you know. You know, 